All right, hello everybody and welcome back to Phantom Weather Channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a pattern flip that's going to bring the potential for a couple back-to-back -back significant winter storms beginning this weekend and possibly into next week as well. But as always, we got to take it one storm at a time. So let's talk about this weekend first. This is going to put us in the five to seven day range. So right now, this is still a signal, but it has been a consistent signal for the past few days. So we're definitely watching it. Friday, we're going to see a chance of some accumulating snow across the plains, but it really wakes up across the mid-Atlantic into parts of the northeast uh, as we get into Saturday, continuing across parts of New England on Sunday. So the Weather Prediction Center is showing a signal for some accumulating snow across these areas, and it is definitely one that we're going to be watching as we go into the future because the past few model runs have shown it being something that could be pretty significant. So... Let's talk about that. So we're going to speed this up to Thursday morning of this week. So that's going to be January 4th. Right off the bat, you can see we got a big trough here uh, moving into the desert southwest. So our trough is going to be what's bringing in our new low pressure system. It's going to be bringing all the energy that we need for a big storm system to develop. So we got to watch the progression of this thing right here. So this big U-shaped thing is going to travel across the southern tier of the United States as we go throughout this week and as we head into the weekend. Now, as we get into about Saturday evening, uh, this trough is going to be moving out into the Carolinas and eventually off into the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, we could see a little bit of severe weather across parts of the southern plains with this trough, and we could see some snow to the north. Immediately right behind it, we got another big trough moving into California and Nevada as we get into Sunday, January 7th. Now, this one here, again, for the past several model runs on several different models, because this is just one, uh, has shown this being pretty substantial. So if we did see something like this materializing, again, it is still a week out, we would have a very powerful negatively tilted trough moving into the lower Mississippi River Valley on Tuesday. Now, something interesting is that the Storm Prediction Center is also having their eye on this, and they've talked about the potential for maybe a severe weather episode on Monday, perhaps into Tuesday of next week. Again, that's this is still a week out, but the fact that they're talking about it is interesting, and this is a very powerful trough. If we, see, if we saw anything like this materializing, we'd definitely be talking about severe weather. And we'd, be, we'd definitely be talking about snow as well, considering the time of the year. Again, very potent, negatively tilted trough being depicted on this model run. So let's talk about the possible scenarios for this storm. Again, this is based on the European model from yesterday evening. Uh, and as we get to Friday, we could have a little bit of snow across parts of Kansas, maybe into Oklahoma, maybe a little bit of severe weather down there across the Texas and Gulf coastline. And then as we get into Saturday evening, we could have a lot of cold air making its way into the northern side of the system. And a scenario like this could lead to some heavy snow across parts of the Appalachian Mountains into parts of the Ohio Valley and the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, and we're definitely watching this here. This is a strong looking storm system on this model. It would definitely bring some accumulating snow if we saw enough cold air uh, reaching down into the northern side of the system. Eventually that's going to move off into the Atlantic. And then again, there is a possibility if that other trough behind it materializes, we can see a very significant storm developing early next week. We'd be seeing substantial severe weather across the lower Mississippi River Valley and a big time snowstorm if this did materialize. But again, this is more in the 7 to 10 day range so right now it is just a signal but it's definitely a signal that we're watching considering we've seen this trend for the past several days right now it looks like we could have a train of storms here but again as always we're taking it one storm at a time so as far as our first storm goes this weekend uh, the european model does put down a pretty good amount of snow from parts of tennessee and even north carolina the mountain areas in uh, tennessee north carolina up there into pennsylvania and new jersey so some areas could see over 10 inches of snow so again definitely something that we're keeping an eye on the gfs model is showing something similar to that and the Canadian model is also so, is also showing a big snowstorm, except it pulls it further north, showing the northeast getting in on a big snowstorm into parts of New England as well. So there's a whole lot of scenarios that we could see. It could shift north. It could shift west. It may not happen at all. But honestly, guys, I think that this is one that is going to happen. Uh, I think that we're going to see at least some accumulating snow across parts of the Ohio Valley into the Mid-Atlantic and Appalachian Mountain region. And there very well could be another big storm behind it that we have to watch for next week. 
So guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more of them, be sure to subscribe to the channel with those post notifications turned on and also be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want other people to get this information as well. But until the next video or live stream, stay safe and I will talk to you guys in the next one.